It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's always my turn. You think Granny really going this time? Well, Miss Clara says she going show us the, and she ought to know. She sit with enough dead people in she time. I knows that, but Granny nearly went three times already. Suppose she and make up she mind to go again this time. Well, then all this will be for nothing. I'm so glad Miss Clara sitting up with she. She knows all about laying them out and that kind of thing. The last time, the quiet. And the shadow on the wall near make my heart stop beating. And all this time, Granny lying down there, not even moving she little finger. So quiet. I would have tech Granny for that long time. But Miss Clara says she is smelling that yet. And Granny still breathing ever so slight. I will never forget the way she sit up and speak so sudden. My heart nearly stop right there. Granny always says she hard like rock, but at 93, you would expect she to weaken a little bit and then die. You think we have enough chairs? Enough for family and friends? And if Rosa send the two she promised, the others, when the wake start, they're going to have to bring their own. But they usually does, you know. It's only them that we invite that don't bring. It's so confusing. I don't know whether to fry the bakes now or wait until later. Suppose Granny don't die and linger until tomorrow, please God. Then they go get still. I say we wait till she gone. Then it go be such a rush. It's better to know where we stand, the way she wavering. Night, Miss Cody. Night, Susie. Mommy stand over the chair. But I thought she was sending too. Yes, but the other one break this afternoon when Jimmy jump on it from the table. <laughs> that boy's still up to his tricks? He just gets worse and worse, yes? Here, look a little wine. Thanks. Is that vinegar water? Mommy said to tell you that she rinse it out with warm water. It ain't going to be affected by the smell. Tell she thanks then. She ain't coming. She says she go look in later. Since Papi gone away, I ain't bothered to come back. She doesn't like to leave the little ones by themselves too long at night now. You ain't hear from your Papi yet? Well, Mommy say we ain't ever going to hear. She said to make up her mind that we's father last from now on. Miss Cody, that's a true, eh? Ain't Papi going to come back? Ain't he? I doesn't know, child. But prayer does help sometimes. Pray hard for your papi to come back. I'm going to pray hard, Miss Cody, real hard. Run along now and tell your mommy thanks and I'm going to look out for she. Granny dead yet? She's still lingering. Night then, Miss Cody. Night, child. Hurry home. Joe coming tonight. Are you sure? The last time I did see him, he was going to catch the early bus to go San Fernando. You really serious about him? Well, I hate him. I just can't understand how you could be going with trash like that. Cody, I don't tell you already. Mind your words with my man. But Eva, he ain't have no taste. He nice and good looking. That is all. He going to put you in trouble. And then where you going to be? Right where it is. And there ain't going to be no trouble. Well, that is what a lot of other girls between here and Sando say. And you know what? They holding babies now. That is a damn lie. Joe never been in court for no maintenance. Well, you wait and see. Mind your step. That is all. And what about Paul? Mr. Courtney have taste. He's a druggist. That is all he have. Taste. He's a gentleman. And Joe is man child. Real man. You don't have to be coarse. Mr. Courtney so full up with all them big ears and words. 
He don't even know how to make love and kiss. Granny don't like Joe. Granny going to dead. She didn't last time. Well, she going to this time. And suppose she don't go. Then we gonna just have to wait until she do. You think Joe going to wait so easy? If he know what good for he. Well, all I could say, child, is watch that rascal. And who you calling rascal? All right, all right. Ask pardon. Oh, God. Mr. Bobo coming. No, not he. Yes, and your dress up. That old man don't mind his age one bit. With all this dew that falling, he just spoke. He knows everywhere. Shh, he coming. Night, ladies. She going yet? No. What wrong with she? With all this in that false alarm? You can't speak about Granny that way. Well, what's she hanging on so far? Mr. Bobo, understand something. If you're going to be disrespectful, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. All right, all right. Where's she? I want to see she. You ain't going in the dying room. Not with your breath smell any way it does. And what is wrong with a little rum smell? Plenty. You're not going in there, and that's all there is to it. Me and your granny was making love long before you were born, you know? Whether you was or not, it ain't have nothing to do with you going in there. You're just not going there, right? But if you want to stay, then sit quiet on the couch, or else make up your mind sharp. <laughs> and don't say I doesn't give for what I expect to get. You just usually drink twice as much. I'm going over by Paul to see if he's ready to come. Sit me a while and see that Mr. Bobo don't have a single drink or see granny. Drinking only going to start with the wake and that is final. What wrong with you, sister? I ain't seen nothing wrong with she. Well, since she take up with that drug, I find she get kind of high and mighty. She was never so particular about the smell of rum before. God, you like to have things right and proper. Well, well it's right for me to be sitting here without a place no respect to your granny in she dying condition. You ain't going in that room and that is final. Give me all the drink, number two. Dry, dry. You hear what Cordy say? You could only have water for the time being. Water? You want to kill me on this chilly night? Is Rama is asking about? No drinking till Granny dead. What this damn house need is a man, and I need Mr. Courtney either. Mr. Bobo. And your Granny better hurry up and dead, and don't keep you waiting like this. Mr. Bobo. All right, I didn't mean to be disrespectful. But the truth gets in joy, joy, I can't <coughs> cook good. Then hush your mouth and don't talk so much. And your throat go moisten. There was a time when I was strong. Uh, me, I am more than I am. Then people used to fear me. I used to walk in and out where they want, even though they small. Give me a little drink now, girl. I don't tell you already. You're not having any. You have had because you're young. One of these days, when you get old like me, you go want something and then wouldn't give you. Then you're gonna know what it is to be old with your strength gone. All that talk ain't getting you no closer to the rum. Hey, hey Joe, you come. You? Joe, how you going, boy? I'm all right, Mr. Bobo. How you going, girl? Give me a little kiss, now. No, Joe, Mr. Bobo, here. Oh, well, you go ahead, man. Don't tell me. I'm just an old man. You're still here. So what you expect? The man to go outside for me to get a little kiss? <laughs> Strength, boy. That's where you got to use for them. Strength. <laughs> well, boy, a little something always better than nothing, eh? How do you live? Lingering. <laughs> That is resistance she got. It, it, it's all it all people, boy. They're weak, but they could last long, long. So, Joe, how are you going to get on in San Fernando? So, so. I haven't been down that way for years, boy. You find work? I'm working on a prospect. You must find work. All right, my child. It's the same every time. It never change. The minute you give way to women, and let her talk marriage, you both sink. 
and then they make you work steady, steady. Shut up, Mr. Bobo. You mind your words and respect me, yes? Well, then you mind your business and I will mind my words. Wait, I, I, I can't even speak. It's a hell of a life. Look, look, look. Let me just change the subject now, old man. So, I, I'm just making conversation, man. You don't expect me to sit down and I say nothing? Well, why you don't go home then? The way your granny is, by the time I reach back, she might be dead. Then I have to make the way all back in the night, eh? So, Eva, tell me, when the funeral going to be? Oh, you could ask that and granny ain't dead yet. What about the coffin it make him? Hiling sent it in San Fernando, and Sammy say he go bring it back in the car when the day done. How much it going to cost? $50. Eva, $50? Mm, that is a lot of money. It's not your money. But why only didn't let Jamesy make it? And told you no, Jamesy does make coffin for everybody in the village? I don't know. Just the other day, the papers were saying to support home crafts. Granny always say, be sure and get a tongue one for she. It don't make sense. Is she money that buy it? Only for as long as she live in. When all you buy it is because she done it. That is true. It done order already. So that is that. All right. You want to see Granny? Well, I think I better take a last look before she goes. Yeah. Uh, just because he's young and strong, uh, and he's a worthless young fella, and he ain't make it peace yet, his people like me should be in there with the old lady. These young people they have the proper knowledge of this kind of thing, and how to mourn properly. They're not as close to death as some of we is. I wonder how close to death I really is. <coughs> I just can't stand the lack of spirits any longer, no? Uh, after all, it is mine. I pay for it. You go take the rest away one by one. Who going to be next? You never used to know, girl. 
it, it could be you first, as well as me myself first. You, you fright when your time comes. Well, there isn't much I could do about it. Life good though while you're living. Yes, when things go, it's all right. They send for the preacher yet? He's standing by. And who going bear shit to the grave? I don't know. And how long you been here? But half an hour. And you ain't know nothing and you ain't see she. <laughs> You're getting slow these days. I want to mind the business. Things like this is everybody business. That ain't a private thing you could hide. Mm-mm. And to your domain, Cordelia. Thanks, Paul. Mistress Lizzie, Mr. Bobo, greetings. Nice. Mr. Courtenay. We are gathered here together on a most lugubrious occasion. Miss Lizzie, you seen Granny yet? No, but once, sir. You coming, Paul? Uh, no, Cordelia. Forgive me for some moments if I deter from entering the room of the future demise. I suffer from a sensitive affliction to the morbid. It tends to aggravate my normal composure. That is nice talk. It's too much a talk if you ask me. Then you stay here with Mr. Bobo and see that you don't drink nothing but water till I give the word. Yeah. You could only think that I want him all the time? Mr. Bobo, please. You're set on cheek. But I he is an old man and all I want at this moment is a little rum to freshen my throat. You understand, Paul? No rum at all for Mr. Bobo. Yes. You're coming, Miss Lizzie. No rum. You have a lot of women turn you around she finger that way by? I am not momently aware that anyone is turning me around any finger. Well then, let me have a drink. Miss Cordelia's instructions were explicit. What that? Miss Cordelia said that you were definitely not to imbibe. But you don't even want one for yourself? I never touch alcohol of any description. What? Never. You, you sick or something? No. Well, something wrong with you? No. I keep fit continuously. I take only water and natural juices. Fancy. And you just keep well? throughout the entire day. And the night too? Yes, and the night too. <laughs> it's just a natural. I can't believe that, man. By the way, how did the embrocation work? Oh, it may burn the skin off my whole back. Don't tell me that you didn't dilute it in the requisite amount of waters prescribed. I know about all of that. I did shake it well, as it is say on the cork. Good heavens! You didn't read the instructions on the label? Man, may I ain't so good with them fine print? But, 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 you, you could have suffered from a third degree burn or, or worse. At first it was bad, eh? but then I get used to it. You mean that you have applied it to your person more than once? I know about the person. I just use it on my back. Extraordinary. It, it does be good when the weather wet. You must have a very tough skin. Boy, the, the toughest in, in the whole village, boy. Oh, dear me. Y you just do a lot of doctoring? Certainly not. I am a dispenser. What that? Well, now, the doctors diagnose, and we, the dispensers, dispense with the diagnoses. It's something kind of mixed up to me. We are two distinct professions, wholly dependent, one upon the other. But, ain't you treating Miss Lucy? Uh, purely in the absence of adequate medical advice. So, how she keeping? I am not at liberty to discuss her condition with you. So, why are you not treating Granny then? That old lady has now moved out of the realm of medical science. Listen, uh, wherever she going, she's suddenly gone far already. Yes, her end draweth near. 
I, I, I didn't hear about a druggist like you from Rantan Village, you know. He get three years for playing he was a doctor. Yes, yes. The old lady draweth near her end, it is, so to speak, within our mortal sight. Uh, this druggist are telling me about was treating a lady who was poorly with a mixture and she coughed and coughed until she coughed her blood and she dropped down and dead in the same spot where she was standing. Can't you talk about something else? Like what? Oh. Mm, my dear Eva, in this hour of fast approaching bereavement, I tend to you my deep and most sincere solicitations on your impending loss. As I have told the sweet Cordelia, I wish you jointly to look to me in your hour of need and distress as your homo sapiens. Nothing more, nothing less. Thanks. And now, does the old lady die tonight? We doesn't know. The angel of death is so uncertain a messenger. Look, look, look. Done holding Eva hand for me, please. I beg your pardon. Done hold she hand, and then you wouldn't have to beg nobody pardon. <laughs> I assure Listen you. Listen up. Don't try them big words with me, you know. Joe, Mr. Courtney was only trying to be nice in a friendly way. Well, I don't like it. That is all. I is the only person who going to be a friend when it comes to holding hand. If he must hold hand, let him go and hold Cordy hand. I assure you, Joseph, that the holding of the hand is merely a polite formality. My name is plain Joe, and I don't trust your kind of formalities either. You said it, boy. Protect your woman. Shut up, Mr. Bobo. Yes, he granny yet? Uh, 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 no, but uh, the time appears to be more than ripe. Keep going. I, I thought you would have let him have it, boy. The first moment you start a fight in this house is out you're going. Did the boy blood hot? Mm, that is all. You understand, Joe? All right, now. Nah. Look, I, I think I, I go take a little nap, yes? It's the best thing you could do. Because it looks like it's going to be a long night. Here's my little sweetie. No, Joe, don't do that now. There's always no Joe. What's wrong with you, eh? Granny dying. As if I didn't know that. But what difference it gonna make? Whether it make a difference or not, you're not making love to me with Mr. Bobo present. But look, Mr. Bobo dozing, he eyes shut. He might wake up. Look, child, it's the same everywhere. When we inside, it's too public. When we outside, it's too private. Eva, make up your mind, you know, because this boy getting tired of doing nothing. I want to do the right thing. And what is that? Wait until we get married. But that could be a long time, the way how the old lady dying so slow. Joe, you love me? It look like I wasted my time, yes? But that is a cruel thing to say. Eva, we just ain't getting no way. Every time we meet, you have me swearing over and over again how I love you. But we are getting nowhere. That is how love is, Joe. Well, I never know it that way yet. Joe, get us really feel for me? It all kind of confusing, eh? I know this too. When I leave you at night, I just feel kind of shaky. I just can't sleep. Well, you mustn't think about me so much. It's not the thinking about you that does make me sleep, you know. It's a kind of a kind of restlessness that does catch hold of me. Well, you must calm down yourself, and you wouldn't be so restless. Oh God, come now, sweetie. No, Joe. It's always no Joe. I keep coming back over and over again, and I don't get no satisfaction. That is how love is, Joe. Women, they they full of talk. That is all. You was listening. I thought you were supposed to be dozing. I, I didn't fall off altogether. He's a nasty old man. 
listening to people private talk. No one said it, it, it was private. Shut your mouth, old man. Yes, hush your mouth. All right, uh, all right. don't tell me. I will try and close my eye and doze up again. But wake me up meantime if anything happen. Eh? Like what? Like that or the food ready now. Go on and sleep now. I'm going to no, no rush me, man. He hear all we say. Well? He hear all we private thoughts. Nothing I did have to say was private. Well, he was speaking about me. Eva, it's too much a talk. Come, let me go outside where it's dark. No! Eva, I'm warning you, you know. One of these days you're going to make me rush you. Don't you dare act up. I'm telling you, you know. One day passion going to overcome me and then things going to go one way or the next. The day passion overcome you. Just don't bother to come here. The only way to come here is that, like Mr. Courtney, calm and cool. That man, he can't even spell the right word for love. He is a gentleman. Eva, you just can't be a gentleman and make the right kind of love at the same time. I don't tell you. You better mind your manners when you're making love to me. God, this is a life, yes? Love making getting to be harder and harder. The old man sleeping. Who the hell you calling old? Like you're asleep with your eyes shut and your ear wide open. Girl, when you is as old as me, you could only doze, sleep, and thus be gone for good. She dead yet? She lying like she dead, but she ain't quite gone yet. All is falling on her health, you know. I stopped by Lucy for a while on the way over. So, how is she going? Middling. Like what? She was coughing and coughing. And spitting blood? I ain't see no blood. You go see blood before she done with? It could easily be a common cold that she is suffering from. Is more than a cold she's suffering from? Was a chest cough or a stomach cough? I ain't no see difference. She was just coughing and coughing. 